President Donald Trump signed an executive order blocking the property of persons involved in serious human rights abuse or corruption. Rumors of international human trafficking rings ran by ultra-wealthy figures have been around for decades now, and we have seen many people who consider themselves as reasonable dismiss groundbreaking evidence that these things are occurring as merely conspiracy theories. Take Corey Feldman, for instance, who was told that he was ruining an industry by Barbara Walters when he mentioned the mainstream knowledge of these things happening behind the scenes. I'm saying that there are people that were the people that did this to both me and Corey yeah. that are still working, they're still out there, and they're some of the richest, most powerful people in this business. And they are And they do not want the... me saying what I'm saying right now. Are, are you saying that they're pedophiles? Yes. Okay? Be careful what you wish for. That's what I'll tell you. You know, don't go into it with naivety. Don't go into it thinking that it's all roses and You're sunglasses and You're damaging an entire industry. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to. That... I'm just trying to say that it's a very important, serious topic. For the record, the people that Corey Feldman has since named in recent months have not been the powerful and influential people he seemed to be referencing in this clip. Perhaps it's all a facade, or perhaps it's all a way to inflate his brand. Who can know, except for Corey himself? According to the National Labor Organization, there are over 20 million victims of human trafficking, in case you wanted an idea of how many people are affected by this issue. The statement on the White House website reads as follows. I, Donald John Trump, President of the United States of America, find the prevalence and severity of human rights abuse and corruption that have their source in whole or in substantial part outside the United States, such as those committed or directed by persons listed in the annex to this order, have reached such scope and gravity that they threaten the stability of international political and economic systems. Human rights abuse and corruption undermine the values that form an essential foundation of stable, secure, and functioning societies have devastating impacts on individuals, weaken democratic institutions, degrade the rule of law, perpetuate violent conflicts, facilitate the activities of dangerous persons, and undermine economic markets. The United States seeks to impose tangible and significant consequences on those who commit serious human rights abuse or engage in corruption, as well as to protect the financial system of the United States from abuse by these same persons. I therefore determine that serious human rights abuse and corruption around the world constitute an unusual and extraordinary threat to the national security, foreign policy, and economy of the United States, and I hereby declare a national emergency to deal with that threat. Everyone knows, of course, Hillary's belief that it takes a village, which only makes sense, after all, in places like Haiti, where she's taken a number of them. Dinesh D'Souza wrote a fairly in-depth article regarding the Clinton Foundation's actions in Haiti on National Review. A link to it is in the description below if you're interested in reading a more concise analysis about the Clinton Foundation and Haiti. With the Me Too movement behind us, is it such a conspiracy theory that the wealthiest people in the world are into some nightmarish things? Are people really so jaded by politics that they are only willing to hold someone to their principles if they don't like them? Section 1A, all property and interest in property that are in the United States that hereafter come within the United States or that are or hereafter come within the possession or control of any United States person of the following persons are blocked and may not be transferred, paid, exported, withdrawn, or otherwise dealt in. One, the persons listed in the annex to this order. Two, any foreign person determined by the Secretary of the Treasury in consultation with the Secretary of State and the Attorney General. A, to be responsible for or complicit in, or to have directly or indirectly engaged in serious human rights abuse. B, to be a current or former government official or a person acting for or on behalf of such an official who is responsible for or complicit in or has directly or indirectly engaged in corruption including the misappropriation of state assets, the expropriation of private assets for personal gain, corruption related to government contracts or the extraction of natural resources or bribery, or the transfer or the facilitation of the transfer of the proceeds of corruption. C. To be or have been a leader or official of 
1. An entity, including any government entity that has engaged in or whose members have engaged in any of the activities described in the previous sections relating to the leader's or official's tenure. So that was about half of the executive order, and the reason I chose to highlight it is, well, while I was reading it, it seemed like it was specifically describing the Clinton Foundation. This new executive order is easy to speculate about, so I will keep my other theories to myself for now. But let me know what you guys think, huh?